Hello adventurers, my name is Diogo Guerra, this is Off-Road Off Course and today I bring you another quick tip video. As you guys know, I am a tour guide and an instructor, and so that means that I deal with a lot of novice riders. Some know nothing and others know a thing or two, but to my surprise, most of them don't know how to pop the clutch, like this. Well, and this is a bit strange, because every single rider knows how to find the biting point of the clutch, accelerate a little and then, you know, just let the bike go. Popping the clutch is the exact same thing, but instead of accelerating just a little, you accelerate more to about 50 to 70% of the red line, depends on the motorcycle, and then you let go of the clutch altogether without worrying about the biting point. What I'm doing with my hands is first to hold the clutch completely, then I throttle up until the revs reach the point where I want them, and I release the clutch altogether. And then, when I'm done with the skidding, I roll down the throttle and I hold the clutch again to prevent the bike from stalling. The safest way to practice this maneuver is to ride around in first gear, always very slowly, standing up and pushing your weight forward into a nice attack position and then do the thing. Keeping your body over the front wheel is important because it makes it easier for the rear wheel to brake traction and to spin. And it prevents your body from falling back and losing control or doing any unwanted wheelies. The idea is to make your rear wheel brake traction immediately, but only for a brief second, in a controlled manner and always keeping a very slow speed. If you feel that you are accelerating, the wheel does not spin and you pick a lot of speed, you are probably not releasing the clutch fast enough. Because your brain is used to controlling the clutch and releasing it slowly, and you kind of have to fight that reflex. Now you must be wondering why do you need this technique? Well, most people don't really need it, but it's the first step of many useful techniques. Like for example, to pop a wheelie over a certain obstacle, or to do a 180 degree turn, or to power slide along a turn. So it's not a very, very like necessary technique, but it's like learning the alphabet. You need all the characters in order to read and write properly. And this is exactly the type of thing that I will teach you on the video course I have been producing. For more information about that, please check my website. And guys, now I think I'm done. Thank you all for watching, I hope that you learned something, and if so, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy and to share. See you next week and happy rides!